and welcome back guys, welcome back to Sexy Cossacks, where we're continuing Sexy Cossacks in England campaign. Okay, the last time we finally actually finished one of the most difficult missions ever, and I'm finally in my third mission for the English campaign. It's 1655. Sir, England has conquered Jamaica, a former Spanish outpost. Merchant lies meet there, and who holds the islands controls the spice of Caribbean. It allows us to guard our convoys and undermine enemy economics by destroying transports and bases, because they belong to you. You will need a fleet. We can send you many warships from England, so you must form squads of people prepared to serve and die for king and food. The island is suitable as a privateer base. Properly organized, privateers greatly benefited uh, the English crown in the past. Assuming the post of deputy governor, find a way to deprive Spain of its gold and gold mines. Of course, it's high time we gain dominance over the South American colonies. So it's gonna be, as per usual, uh, <laughs> it's gonna be the second mission, just this time around without anything else. So we have conquered Jamaica, of course, however, it lacks settlers to organize good resource extraction. So the only source of your colony's revenue is what you manage to capture. So, in other words, you're again fucked, and this this is gonna be even harder than the last time. It's gonna be one of those moments when you realize you just don't want to play anymore. Spanish vessel has several trade lines that pass by Jamaica. You must help relieve the greedy Spaniards of some of their heavy load, of course. It will come in a very useful for building a strong fleet, an economy that will be non-existent by the end of our first try. Amazing, just amazing. First and foremost, of course, as per usual, we go on a game menu and <laughs> slow the game down to a crawl. Okay, so let's see what we actually have. It will seem we're not going to be attacked by the enemy at the very beginning, but we have everything except people. I do not know who actually built these colonies years ago, but it must have been some strange people, because we have no colonists at all. And I mean at all. We have one yacht, which we have, of course we have to utilize to gain. Wow, this is definitely going to be a pirate, pirated team stuff. Let's see, we are red color, this is all orange color. That means that none of these things are ours. Actually, everything is ours. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Gold uh, not going down. Nothing is actually going down. Not even food, which is quite good. But this is going to be ridiculous in a long run because there is just no way I'm going to be able to... I'm, this is, I mean, the first is going to be a failure, the second one is going to be a failure, the third time it's going to be a failure, and then maybe the fourth time it's going to be awesome. Maybe. So we have to find uh, freaking convoys and destroy them. I have a feeling that the convoys will be coming to our place. And so it seems that this is not a big, big map compared to the last time, but again, it could be a huge amount of small islands everywhere. So let's see upgrades. Can we get some upgrades for our ships that are actually very useful? We can go for the, again, shooting accuracy. Would be quite useful. I'm gonna go for that immediately just because, again, uh, we only have one freaking ship, and that's the worst ship possible. It's a yacht. So there you go. We can build more, I guess. But I don't know if we should. We, well, we have 25,000 iron and coal, so I guess one of these wouldn't be bad. But I believe yachts would be perfect if we just want to raid the enemy. And that's going to be it. And I'm going to build just two yachts, maybe. And that's about it. And may, or maybe we can get the upgrade for fast ship building. No, we do not have that ability, sadly. Uh, battleship building. We will never build battleships anymore, as they cost overly too much for what we do not have. So, hmm, woodworking tools could get that immediately and when we do get peasantry we could chop some wood wherever we can find some wood and there is some wood over there some palm trees and stuff like that uh, so let's see more things for the count let's see a range of artillery fire again this I believe is the same thing that we will be needing let's control to uh, key our beautiful Academy at this point and let's see the U thank you very much iron coal blah 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 let's see the upgrades uh, so yeah, we can get artillery range plus five percent. It costs a little bit of gold, but still we don't have a huge chunk of gold. That's the thing. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! Enemy is coming, and thankfully <laughs> we got that upgrade for our, for accuracy. So that goes also on our friends here, if I'm not mistaken. Our towers. Wow! Block him like that. Yes, like that. Wow! Can anyone actually kill him? 
Wow, great job, guys. Just fucking great job. Yet again, the pirates come to the rescue of the gold. Great. Just freaking great. That aside, we just lost a bunch of gold. Like, that's 4,000 loss. God damn. And we are supposed to be the ones <laughs> taking the freaking thing. Well, definitely needs we need to upgrade some accuracy. Artillery fire range. Not bad. Let's see what we can get out of that. Okay, let's see. Uh, why the hell not? But not really. They're not actually wasting gold yachts. It is at all. There is no upkeep on them, even though there should be an upkeep on yachts. Let's see. Uh, description: Unit upgrade general. Yeah, you gold only 62. Unless I'm looking this wrong, but I probably am, so nobody cares. Doesn't really matter. Let's get more yachts because health bell. It seems this is the only thing we can actually get. And they don't cost a lot. If we see reports stating that a Spanish battleship loaded with gold will pass to the north of your island. Great. If it's only maybe one battleship, we will be able to do something. If it's only one. Of course, if the enemy again starts attacking us with the damn little pirate ships. Well, there goes money. And then we're going to be a pure GG, my friends. Pure GG. But thankfully, these guys are... Wait, do we even have... Maybe probably we have the upgrade to actually build... Uh, fast our ships. It seems we're getting ships very fast. They're being built very fast. So that means that we probably already have the upgrade. That's actually quite awesome. And I'm gonna keep on the yachts. Again, as you can see, the gold is not going down. Actually, nothing is going down in terms of upkeep for these guys. So it would seem that now we know that you can just spam yachts like nobody's bitch until you ran out of gold. But again, you need gold for these guys to fire. So we're not gonna risk going well, below 4,000 anyway. F so north of our island, eh? Let's find where the north truly is. It's, it's a very, uh, like, a long way around just to get to the northern part, though. It's definitely a big island. If we can make a big base there, if we can get some settlers. So our entire mission is to, want to build a more of a colony and... That's about it, but not really, just to destroy the enemy transports, it would seem. So again, it's again all, all just damnable uh, ships. I don't like ships. I really never, never liked ships. Like, hand-to-hand -hand combats, A-OK. -okay. Musket, A-OK. -okay. Artillery, A-OK. -okay. Planes, A-OK. -okay. But never liked the ships. So again, Armada, great stuff. Everybody likes Armada. And again, Star Trek people. If this was Star Trek on water, it would be amazing quite amazing so let's see north we are at the northern part uh, we are not seeing any of the battleships and we're probably gonna pass through these locations we have this beautiful storehouse so that we might actually even see the enemy passing through this point if not well we're gonna die like nobody's bet again it's a battleship <laughs> that's a freaking battleship with a lot of gold and i hope we can we do kill him we get also some sailors that of course will become our sailors and then we can be awesome about being having sailors not really we're just gonna have some peasantry doing the work maybe we do get peasants after we destroy those we shall see of course you know what i'm gonna build another one let's just it's only like half a gold anyway a thousand so i'm gonna just 500 and let's see uh five okay five let's just spam the freaking yachts i'm not gonna waste on anything else yeah well i mean galleys or frigates they do cost a lot of money and we cannot hold that upkeep at all and technically again Yachts are not, <laughs> uh, well, they don't care, it would seem. Uh, again, I'm glad about that. That means I can spam this specific type of a ship and not care in a long run at all. Because it's, the, the amount I actually now have is quite a lot than we would have at the very beginning of the second mission for the Japanese. Or should I say for the English? So we're going to leave these three maybe here. Or go immediately to the north. Oh, I, I'm not seeing the damnable battleship, though. I'm not seeing. I'm gonna go around that one battleship and hope that he doesn't have any escort. But presumably they do have escorts of some kind, so yeah. I believe this is just gonna be on hit and run mission, and that's until you destroy all of their uh, main uh, battleships or whatever cargo ships they have, so you can get the monies. And there you go. As I said that here. <laughs> oh my God! The the fire, the pain, the torture. And yeah, definitely we'll be able to get a little bit closer to him while he targets these guys. Slowly but surely, one will be dead. Let's go to the side. Can we kill you? That's the question. 
Yes. Uh, we're slowly killing him, though. That, that damnable thing is too strong, to be honest. So, <laughs> we might have to go with uh, the galleys or frigates. No, he doesn't care for this. Excellent, excellent. But we are faster than him, so thankfully we can just go around him, block him in, and do some damage, maybe. Maybe, yes, yes. Now, open fire. Open fire, goddamn. Let's go around him, block him if we can. Or maybe there's a minimal range to our ship. So there shouldn't be, mind you, but still. There shouldn't be. Okay, we lost another yacht. We can see, we can hear the explosions going off. 29,000. Damn, that's a lot of health still. Of 65,000. Well, there comes three more yachts, so that's not a problem. I wonder how much gold he actually has as soon as we destroy him. 21. Again, much faster. And of course, you see the reloading. That's a nice, always a feature in this one. In Kazax, as you can see the reloading thingy. Oh yeah, look at that damage, 11,000, 9,000, 8,000. He is gonna go down, probably, very fast. Slow reloading on our guys, but still. 15,000 coins, nice. That's a lot of gold, I can actually build maybe a bigger chips if need be. Because I believe this is gonna be like a first Bellop ship without escort, the second Bellop ship with 500 ships escorts and some, something like that. So, <laughs> we will probably be needing more. He originally reported that a Spanish galley laden with gold is making its way along the southern islands. Pirates often plow these waters, so hurry up. Do not allow them to grab the loot. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna definitely have to go with the yachts because they are the faster ships of the line. And we go to the southern parts and hopefully we do not meet any resistance if need be. We'll actually go to the side where our towers are. Let's not go to the left side. We're gonna go to the south side, but to the north side of the west side. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna get many more yachts. We can do that at least, thankfully. Yes, and you see now the gold is going very much yeah down, down and down. How many we do we have at this point? Just purely yachts, it would seem, you know, like five here. Excellent, still alive, most of them. You know, that, that that's actually always a good thing. Ouch, I just hit my freaking computer, so he's dead. I think I will, all in all, we'll just concentrate on yachts completely. And that's gonna be it for the entire mission. We just need a fast moving ships. Even though they are slow on fire, we might get an upgrade for that though. We might get an upgrade that helps in like how much you can fire at, at the same time. Uh, artillery durability, 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 let's see, upgrades. Okay, so we need uh, artillery fire range. Okay. Shooting accuracy, that's, that's something we already have. Uh, accuracy of artillery fire, that was the one, let's see. Uh, accuracy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Range of artillery fire, that's the thing that we do not have. Oh uh, boy. Can we get vessel speed plus 40%? That would be all, but that's 22,000 gold. That's a lot. Uh, wood extraction efficiency. Wow. Is that the thing that we also need? That would be kind of stupid. Uh, let's go down here. Uh, let's see. Uh, train car. Oh, this is the increased speed building. Yeah, we already have that. It would be nice if the actually upgrades told us what we have of all the upgrades for now. But it doesn't, so we're kind of screwed there. Let's control one of these guys. Excellent. Now we actually have a lot of ships, so that's, that's not going to be the problem of actually making these guys like in mass overly too much. But again, as you can see, in terms of gold, we're not wasting too much. So we can definitely waste a massive amount of ships in at least these uh, yachts, if nothing else, four yachts incoming. Excellent. Let's tell the rally point to be around these locations, and already one is done. Excellent. Control one. Let's move in. So the Southern Islands, mm. so we have to go deep south until we actually find the pirates, kill the pirates, take the loot, kill the galley, take the loot. It's going to be quite interesting to see how that's going to be. Control 1, thank you very much, let's go, let's go. Southern Islands, so we're from, oh there you are. There you are, that's exactly what we wanted. A perfect opportunity to get the gold, let's save here like a little bastard we are. Thank you very much. 
Let's go, let's go, let's block him. We have to block him. Okay. Pirates have sunk the Spanish galleon. Oh, god damn it. Well, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. We didn't even see that happen. Jesus. That's not cool. That's okay. Maybe this is gonna give us something. At least. Now, that's a fairy Netherlands. So again, maybe those are the pirates, but they have the blue flag. So I guess they're officially evil. 10,000. Come on. You can fire one more or two times. Thank you. 3,000 units of gold. Not bad, I guess. If we did get that galley, that would be much preferable, I guess. To probably have 10,000, but 3,000 not bad. Still, we can kill the upkeep on these beautiful ships as much as we can. Let's see. It's, it's again, not going very fast down, so we can spam a little bit more. It's all worry about that the coal is going down on 11,000, so that's going to be a problem. Maybe overly too many ships. Again, coal cost is 388. Yeah. Wait, they're 879. Well, I was thinking that they were 500. Okay, my bad. I'm gonna leave these ships here. I'm not gonna allow, maybe they, if the enemy tries again to reach our positions, uh, the pirates it is, they may screw us over heavily. I have a lot of ships, but we have seen that one battleship can eat you alive. Thankfully, they don't care always. So, they, they, yeah, it gets a little bit berserk and just goes through you. Okay, I'm gonna leave this as a blockade if the enemy again tries to steal our gold. If, that is. Uh, to be honest, they might do it the second time from some other position. Or maybe if we kill some pirates around, we could maybe. Let's first and foremost save yet again. On QW. And maybe we can get some gold from these pirates. If that would be perfect, of course. But again, the entire mission is to kill the Spanish fleet. But pirates do help, it would seem, in terms of that also, so <laughs> I guess that's not really a problem of keeping... Maybe if we should just allow them to be alive for a little bit and, you know what, screw the gold. We have enough gold, 12,000 getting... S well, by second, <laughs> going down, but that's okay. That's not going to be the problem in the long run. In the long run, if we actually want to... This, again, could be a very short mission. A very short mission. And again, we don't have an ability to build anyone. Let, hey, well, let's see this. Does this help anyone? No. So this mostly in the armory, a blacksmith, of course, it's just purely cosmetics for the stuff like uh, sabers, armored soldiers, and of course, fields efficiency. Never forget that one. Uh, artillery depot has nothing. So again, only specifically with ships is the mission to be played with, you know, like, there is nothing else to do, <laughs> but that's okay, I'm just gonna leave these guys for now here, we might get another message that will tell us that the Spanish galleys are coming from the north again, or the west, wild west, to the left side of the screen, or maybe we can just go around and check ourselves, see what they, we can see with this uh, massive fleet, but we have seen again that one transport moving down here, so there may be just a regular transports or chips that are just standing around for you to kill, and you gain a little bit of gold from them. And again, too bad we cannot repair our ships in any way possible, at least not that I know of. So there you go. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna save here and continue on to the next thing, because this is gonna be a like, two-parter mission, so why not last a little bit. Anywho, let's save again. It's not really that we need, to be honest, but we're going to save yet again. Uh, it was a QW. I'm going to save the same one. Thank you very much. I wish you the very best.